I'm Lance Corporal Justin Bowles, and here's a look at what's happening around the meth. On January 26, U.S. Marine Brigadier General David A. Ottignan, Commanding General of the 1st Marine Logistics Group, congratulated Marines for being named the top Marine and sailor in their respective units. After standing on a board and beating out other potential candidates, these Marines and sailors received the awards based on stellar performance, excellent leadership, and outstanding unit safety contributions. Marines who show professional competency, courage, and integrity are recognized by their unit leaders. On January 26, Sergeant Zachary L. Pippenhagen was awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Medal at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. While aboard the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit, a troubled sailor attempted to climb over a guardrail in an attempt to commit suicide, but Sergeant Pippenhagen grabbed the distressed sailor at personal risk to his own life and pulled the sailor back into the ship until help arrived. The Marine Corps continues to strive to be a force in readiness. One of the ways this mission is accomplished is by staying technologically up to date. On January 31st, Marines were Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 211 and Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 166 supported Exercise Agile Lightning at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. Agile Lightning, a week-long exercise, will demonstrate the F-35B Lightning II's ability to conduct short takeoff, vertical landing operations, and complete training prerequisites in a robust and complex training environment. Thanks for tuning in to see what's going on around the meth. If you'd like to see more photos and videos of Marines in action, Please visit our Facebook page at One Marine Expeditionary Force or go to imf.marines.mil. From Camp Pendleton, California, I'm Lance Corporal Justin Bowles. Until next time.